I'd like to present the arc length form to the four circles. Not, frankly, because I think the material is that interesting or will be used a lot in the future, but more because the definition of a radian is so awkward, I think, that it would be really nice if we could see an example where it just comes in and simplifies a problem and really illustrates to the student that sometimes radians are going to be more convenient than degrees. So when I say arc length form to the, this is the picture I have in mind. We've got a circle and we've got a pie slice as it were. And we are looking at the length of this curve here. What could that be? Well, let's go back before we write any formula down, to the definition of the radian. When we defined the radian, we were looking at a unit circle. So the radius of this circle is one. And we defined the radian so that the angle measured in radians and this arc length would be the same. And again, this is a unit circle, so the radius is one. So in this very special case, the arc length and the radius are, um, sorry, not the radius, the arc length and the angle are the same. In general, going up here, the arc length is the radius times the angle. And you see down here, the radius is one. So this form to the whole, it's the statement that the arc length equals the angle is the same as saying that the arc length is one times the angle. Let's do a quick example. So in this example, we're going to assume that planets orbit the sun in perfectly circular paths. That's not actually quite true, but close enough. And we'll look at the planet Mercury. So Mercury is 360 million miles from the sun. And in one Earth day, it completes 1.14% of its total revolution. How far does Mercury travel in one Earth day? All right. So here is Mercury orbiting the sun. And we'll say it starts there. Um, you're, you're just going to have to get used to circles that look like this. I, um, my artistic skills, they're not great. So we start here, and this is very much not to scale, but Mercury goes around the sun and ends up there. And 
And this is what we want to know. How far Mercury travels is this arc length. And we know that the radius is 36. What about this angle theta? Well, we're not given theta, but we can work it out. We um we know that one full rotation around the sun would be a two pi radians. We travel 1.14% of that. That is to say, we make 1.14% of a total 2 pi radian revolution. When we're rotating, sorry, when we're multiplying numbers, percents have to be turned to decimals. So theta is that. And now we know R, and we know theta. So S equals R times theta. Let me do this on a calculator really quick about 2.58 million miles.